What up guys, Techie Rod here. And this is just a kind of a scrap build. I found this uh, Dell T3400 right here, which I painted all red in the front. It's got some, some little, you know, error marks I need to go back and correct. But found this in the garbage and the board had some blown caps, so I went on eBay, found a brand new board for like $15 for it. Got a brand new board, got that put in, four gig of DDR2, put some IC Diamond on the processor, which is a Core 2 Quad at 2.8 gigahertz, I believe. So it's still a good processor. Um, I got a 580 that I went on eBay and I got really cheap, which is in great condition. And I got this little uh, power supply CX430. I'm going to try and boot it up and just see if I can get uh, Windows installed and stuff on it. I got a couple of Dell power supplies here. This is a 700 watt I have, but it has no uh, PCIe adapters or anything on it. This is the old board I took out, which had some blown cap capacitors on it. I didn't feel like bothering with it. The board was much cheaper, brand new. So this power supply came inside it. This is a 525 watt and um, kind of a modular design deal made. Now it has PCIe, one PCIe uh, six pin on it. Or yeah, six pin right here. But the power supply has blown capacitors in it also, and I don't feel like going in there to fix that. So what I'm going to do is probably end up getting a maybe a 600 watt power supply for this, just what I need. I'm not trying to go over because this is just a kind of just a project I was doing and get it going. So it's got plenty of save connectors in there, four, six up. So you got four right there, two up top, that's six. SATA DVD drive, I don't start Windows on, and I got the 580 in there, so not sure what I'm going to do with this, with this computer, I might end up selling it, I might end up just taking the 580 out and the quad core chip and just throwing the rest in the garbage, I'm not sure, because the Gigabyte makes a board that supports the core 2 quad chip with a the DDR3 memory. So it's kind of an updated gigabyte board that still supports the LGA775 socket. And here's a bunch of DDR2 RAM. Now what I looked up was one of the Dell XPS, I think it's the Dell XPS 420. It comes with the same processor and an identical motherboard. The motherboard is pretty much identical. This is a workstation motherboard. So the Dell, X, the Dell XPS 420 comes with, the board looks just like the one that's in here. Only thing different is, is that it doesn't have two PCIe uh, slots for the video cards. And it doesn't have these legacy ports on the back. But, oh, and also the workstation is uh, ECC uh, memory, DDR2 ECC, so. The XPS is just standard DDR2. So we'll see how it runs. I, I painted it all. It looks pretty nice. Got a nice gloss on it. I ordered a brand new Core 2 Quad sticker. I don't know if you can see that. So gave it a new badge. Kind of putting some new life back into this computer. Looks really, you know, not going to be the best cable management in there. Power supplies kind of rigged up in there. But it's in there sturdy. And it's not going anywhere. And I'm willing to bet you I can run some good games on this with some decent frames. So I'll get back to you when I get it all started. Right now I'm going to the store to get a PCIe adapter for this uh, three, the six pin. So we can just at least get it powered up and I can, you know, see if I can get Windows going. I got a spare laptop drive in here for right now. We're going to throw Windows 7 on it. And, um... Just basically get it up and running and just see what it's looking like. So I'll check back when everything's uh, going. I'm recording this on my iPhone, so, uh, you know, bear with me.